you're more likely to be impacted by ransomware now in 2024 than ever in human history. I'm gonna talk about why in today's video. What's up everyone, I'm Brian from Exact IT Solutions, our cybersecurity channel. Welcome to another video. And today I'm gonna to talk about why in 2024, you're more likely to get impacted by ransomware in some way, shape or form than you ever have in the history of humankind. Ransomware attacks are forever increasing. We see so many businesses being impacted and hit with ransomware every single day. We have major healthcare, major transportation, major major manufacturing companies all around the world being hit with ransomware by cyber criminals. And the FBI, they just released their internet crime report for 2023 last week and that caught my eye. And I'm gonna talk about some things that were in that report that are gonna open your eyes and make you realize that even if you don't own a business, that ransomware is probably going to impact you in the near future. The FBI in this report, it's pretty damning. Headlines that come out of it are pretty striking when the agency has received more reports of ransomware in 2023 than they ever have. And businesses thought that they were getting ahead. I was reading reports that, oh, businesses might be getting ahead. Ransomware groups are not as successful. I don't know what world these people live in unless they're just reading the news. But if you go on the dark web like we do at our company and look for for and research what is happening out there with companies being attacked, you know that there are a plethora and to no end companies being hit by various ransomware groups all over the dark web. But the biggest concern that came out of this report, according to the FBI, is that they're troubled by the amount of attacks that go unreported by businesses. And I'm gonna get into how they kind of figured this out and what this means for you as an individual, but also if you own a business and you haven't ever been impacted by ransomware or you don't think there's a very good chance that you're going to get hit well that's a game of russian roulette you might not want to be playing based on this report that i'm going to dig into right now first big thing i want to cover here from the report that i have is more than two in five ransomware attacks reported to the fbi in 2023 targeted organizations in critical infrastructure sector the agency said on thursday in the report that it released and it's unbelievable that critical infrastructure that includes healthcare, it includes manufacturing, it includes transportation. These examples of ransomware attacks on critical infrastructure are never more true today than what we see with what's going on with the change healthcare ransomware attack. And now that's going into its third week impacting medical and healthcare practitioners across the country who are finding it difficult to fulfill prescriptions and also be able to bill insurance so they can collect money and pay their staff. It's a pretty wild situation. I have plenty of videos on the channel for you to check out if you want to learn more about what's going on at Change Healthcare. So to dig into this a little bit deeper, there were about 2,825 ransomware attacks reported to the FBI in 2023. 1,193 of those hit critical infrastructure organizations. The proportion of ransomware attacks hitting critical infrastructure grew from one third of attacks reported to FBI in 2022. So. What we have here is we have a growing trend where ransomware attacks are continuing to attack critical infrastructure more and more, or maybe critical infrastructure is just more responsible in terms of their reporting, or they're more in the public eye, so they have to kind of report these types of things. Hospitals, you know, a lot of these things in critical infrastructure are things that our tax money uses to provide services to taxpayers in this country. And a lot of times people can and see and feel when they've been impacted by a ransomware attack. So unfortunately for those types of companies where their customers notice it quickly or notice something's different or notice something's going on, unfortunately, they don't have the luxury of other companies who can hide this kind of stuff. These companies have to come out and report it and they do report it, but everybody should be reporting it but according to this report, that's not happening. But losses reported from ransomware attacks jumped 74% to almost $60 million last year. And ransomware attacks were also up 18% from 2022 in 2023. So we have an increasing threat landscape here for businesses that 20% more businesses were attacked in 2023 than in 2022. So if you don't think this is a real threat for your business, you might want to think again. 
let's talk about this little situation here where the FBI kind of, you know, said, hey, businesses, you're not really reporting ransomware attacks like we want you to. And like you're probably required to by most laws and state laws that are out there. And I've been on this channel many, many times saying that businesses do not report this stuff. We see many, many ransomware attacks that exist on the dark web where it's not talked about in the news and the company decided not to do anything about it. It begs the question, what are these businesses doing when they get attacked by ransomware? There's this group called the Hive Ransomware Group. The FBI recently infiltrated them and took them down and got their hands on a lot of their infrastructure when they busted this group. And when they did that, they found all the files that Hive stole from all of these companies. So they knew basically every single company that this Hive ransomware group has impacted over the years. And what they found was that only 20% of the victims that they found on Hive's computers and servers when they took them down, only 20% of those businesses were ones that were reported to the FBI. So that leads you to believe that out of every 10 ransomware attacks, eight businesses aren't telling anybody. And I fully believe that that's the truth, that 80%, probably closer to 80 to 90%, depending on your industry, and depending on what compliance and regulations you may under, and depending on the size of your business, that all impacts whether or not you're going to tell somebody that this happened or not. Where we normally, and I said this before and I'll say it again, where we normally hear these kinds of things and we learn that companies do get attacked, where most business owners like you who are watching this video learn about this stuff is at industry trade shows and events. When you hear another business that you know or you're, you're close to, or maybe a vendor of yours or a partner of yours gets hit with ransomware. And that's how you find out. We find out in other ways here at Exact IT. And if you want to learn more about that, there's definitely links in the description. And there's definitely links to the FBI crime report in the description down below. You're welcome. And if you check out those links, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I appreciate it very much. Ransomware is clearly at an all-time high. Businesses continue to play Russian roulette with the cyber criminals and with their own businesses when they decide to do nothing when it comes to cyber attacks. This game that these cyber criminals are playing with businesses around the world, but mainly here in the U.S. and against critical infrastructure businesses. This is a game that is serious to them. They make serious money off of this. We're aware of a ransomware attack recently where a company paid $22 million to hackers for one event to get back up and running, to maybe not have their data released to the public. Who knows? But at the end of the day, this is lucrative. And it's only more proven by this other article that I'll link to down below that I found that said that Lockbit, even though that the FBI took them down, back in uh, early in 2024, they're back. They're already back. And it only took them a little more than a couple weeks to get back up and running after their takedown. International authorities learned that Lockbit was back. Its affiliates were back. And they're learning how quickly and easy it is for these ransomware groups to maneuver and switch and pivot and change, which we've known about and I've talked about on this channel and on my podcast, Security Squawk, multiple times. So I don't know why this comes as a big surprise right and again i go back to the fact that you know i'm going to get on my soapbox here and say that you know i wish our governments around the world would stop making a dog and pony show when they take these groups down because it only adds fuel to the fire and makes them want to come back even more and they already are going to come back just because this is so lucrative for them right now and really the risks are nowhere near what the rewards are i mean very few people get taken down over the years. And you could probably count on two hands how many people have been actually prosecuted over things like ransomware, especially international criminals. And unfortunately, there's going to be no stop to this. And it's not going to slow down anytime soon. So any businesses out there that think that just because they haven't gotten hit yet, that they won't ever get hit and they don't need to take this stuff seriously. They don't need to do their compliance. They don't need to even invest in any cybersecurity protections, even if 
if you don't have compliance, you got to learn from this stuff and what's going out there, guys. So that's why I do this channel, why I try to bring these things to your attention so you understand the risks are real. Time is against you. It's only a matter of time if you don't do anything or you don't do enough before these criminals hit you. And if you don't know what to do, if you have no idea, like, uh, Brian, I don't know what enough is. I don't know what to do. I don't know if we're doing enough. Well, our company can tell you. Even if you think you're protected, it's always good to get second eyeballs on what you're doing to maybe bring a different perspective or show you that your team that you've entrusted may not have things fully buttoned up like you or they thought. So always get that second opinion. Every, every once in a while, I recommend annually, but hey, even once every two or three or four years, doing it every so often is better than not doing it at all. I'm Brian. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.